Good morning, everyone. In the last video, we uh, understood the concept of Harris corner detector, and we understood about what are eigenvalues and how we actually use the lambda one and lambda two in order to get to know that whether uh, it is an edge or it is a corner or flat object. Now we are going to solve an example to further understand the concept. So first of all, let's understand that we have got this equation. This is the error equation, which we want that the error has to be large if it is a corner. The error equation uh, depends on this matrix, which is actually uh, a matrix in which this A represents the summation of uh, I of x square. I of x square is actually the gradient along x-axis. Uh, B is actually the summation of i of x multiplied with i of y and c is actually the summation of uh, i of y square where i of y square is actually the gradient about y axis so if we want to find a corner we need to find this error and if we want to find this error we find we have to find this matrix and if we have to find this matrix first step is that we have to find these gradients okay so this is the concept now let's see what is the question given given to us in the exam assume uh, we have to find that there is a there is this image uh, where we have to find on the on pixel 3-3 three three that whether it is a corner or not we are given that uh, we are provided with uh, this gradient so if your examiner is kind enough he can give you this gradient himself Otherwise, he might give you an image and you have to calculate the gradient. So now let's start uh, here. We assume that we are given with this gradient as a given thing in the question. So in this gradient, we are asked that we have to operate and find out that this 3 by 3 pixel, is this pixel a corner in the image gradient or if this is not a, not a corner. So in the first step, we have to calculate i uh, x square, i x square, i y square, and i x and i y. So with this i x, I have calculated this i x y simply by taking the square of all the uh, values uh, point by point. In the next step, with the help of this i y uh, matrix which is provided to me, I find out this i y square matrix uh, simply by taking the square of the values point by point then uh, then i multiplied this i y with the i x to find out this i x and i y matrix so now i am done with all my gradients in step number two i will make a window it can be asked to you in the question or you can simply do it yourself that you have to make a window Let's assume we are making a window of 3 by 3. Maybe in the question you can be asked to make a window of 5 by 5. Then you have to do that. But otherwise if it is not specified then for the sake of sim simpliness I will make a window of 3 by 3. So this is how the window will look like. There will be a center pixel x, y. Whenever you make a window always the center pixel is x and y and then uh, behind it is x minus 1 after it is x plus 1. Similarly, on y-axis behind it is y minus 1 and after it is y plus 1. So, in step 3, we have to find, uh, basically, we have to find out the summation. The summation of i of x square, the summation of i of y square and the summation of i of x multiplied with i of y. So, I simply place this uh, window over here with uh, the center of the window placed on the center pixel where I have to find out whether it's a corner or not and I will add these values simply so you can see for i of x and i of y I am taking this 4 plus 55 plus 15 plus 2 plus 8 plus 20 uh, plus 53 plus 3 plus 6 all in one line and then I sum them up similarly for this uh, i y square i will sum this 4 plus 25 plus 25 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 81 plus 9 plus 9 and i will place them here and add them to get 162 
similarly for i x square i have added up all the values so i got those sums now let's write down this h matrix right so i'm go simply going to fill these values up into this h matrix in step 4 we are actually have to find the points with large response uh, this means that your lambda min should be higher than threshold so harris operator says that uh, this r is equals to lambda 1 lambda 2 minus k lambda 1 plus lambda 2 whole square if this r is less than t then it is not a corner and if it, this r is larger than t this is a corner well step 4 is all depends on you whether you want to make it simple or complicated there are two ways to uh, solve step 4 uh, you can either find out the lambda 1 lambda 2 values multiply them and similarly lambda 1 lambda 2 values add them another uh, <clears throat> method which is also given is that instead of these lambda 1 lambda 2 values you can use the determinant of this matrix similarly instead of this lambda 1 plus lambda 2 value you can simply use the trace of this matrix so what is this r r is actually equal to your lambda min now, uh, now you understand that the, the concept of corners which i explained in my last video as well that if you want that something is a corner then out of two lambdas uh, lambda both the lambda should be higher should be higher than the threshold and if you specifically talk about lambda min so your lambda min has to be higher than the threshold here we are actually uh, replacing lambda min with this r so for the sake of simplicity just remember this equation you, you remember this equation and uh, with the help of this equation we uh, we will plug in the values and we will find the value of r and in uh, and then we have to compare the value of r with threshold to find out whether that pixel is a corner or not right so here i am finding the determinant of the matrix i of x square this is the matrix so in order to find the determinant we multiply this row and then we do subtraction and then we multiply this row so uh, similar this this row minus this row so this multiplication minus this multiplication is ending up into 18434 uh, well trace of any matrix is actually sum of the elements on main diagonal of the matrix so i will add this plus this and i'm getting this so when i plug in these values into this equation uh, the value of k is assumed to be 0 0.04 so i'm getting the answer that 9710 so uh, now i have got the value of r this value of r is actually value of lambda min as well helis operator has made uh, the life simpler it has actually uh, uh, compared that this r is similar just like lambda min so if this r is higher than threshold it means the point is corner in this question we were not given with the value of threshold otherwise uh, if we were given with the value of threshold we will compare it uh, with the value of threshold and we will say that yes r is higher than this value of threshold let's assume we were given with a value of threshold like 12,000 maybe. So we will say that yes, R, uh, oh, R is smaller than this. So it is not a point. And let's assume we are given with the value of uh, threshold to be, let's assume 8,000. Then we will say yes, R is higher than the value of threshold. So R is a corner. So on the basis of this R, we can actually identify that whether uh the point of the pixel that was given to us is corner or not so if you like this video do share it with your friends do like it do subscribe it i love this thank you